It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. Nothing. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. Master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the Maester. Let the Maester go, Grim. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. I've let you off too fucking easily, Roderick. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. Kill anyone that moves. You heard him! Stop now! You can't do this! Now then, about humility... Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your whole fucking family! I did warn you. You can away at me. Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're cop. <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you sus? Stop! Oh, 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 my eye! Roderick! Oh, oh you fuck! Oh, you need you, to stop this I, right I now! I yield! 
Are you? No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Lord Vital doesn't have to find out. You can only keep this a secret for so long. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. We're done here. Clear out. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. Not reach high point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells? You hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you, you going to do? When are they swinging a fucking... Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man. Let go alone. of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Basically, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, he'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it. I was a slave. Here. In this fucking city! <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. Lads, what kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... Entertainment. 
There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. That's enough drinking for tonight. It'll only make you feel worse. I don't need any more men telling me what to do. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dizor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Oh, really? <gasps> My That's ears are not Sweet delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to?
I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well, don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe that You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Stop dealing iron. Hmm, is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Telling the joke, remember? <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. 
I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... I suppose Lyman, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira?
Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. I think you'll want to hear this. Hear what? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. As have you, my lord. Because I know everything you're planning. And I'm going to destroy you. going. Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. Oh, we'll have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good on, Ting. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. 
I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to no. me. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. He'll be all right. Won't he? Ah! Ah! Oh! Stop! Please! You don't like it? You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Kill them! Yeah, it's over. Just don't do it, Gary. Let her go. What have you done? She was running away. Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. Bueno, chavales, pues voy a cortar ya aquí. Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo. Like, favorito, suscribiros. Hasta la próxima. Adiós.